What's up everybody? Welcome back. I am your host Calvin McClure and you are watching our RP1 career playthrough in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. So picking up from the last episode, which ended on a bit of a mixed note, um, if you'll remember, we had that mid-flight breakup of the Dash 3B, uh, which completely destroyed the aircraft. But the good thing that came out of that is with the bailout system, our pilot was able to make it back home safely. But we ended up having a bit of a mixed episode because we had some successful flights, we had some successful climbs to 50 kilometers and uh, a successful flight to 55. Nothing extraordinarily impressive, but those were good flights. We had several in-flight anomalies where we had engines die on us or quit on us. But again, that's not anything we haven't done with or dealt with in the past. So nothing overly concerned about. We also had uh, the first two launches of the Silver Brand BB and both of those ended up being uh, failures. The first was off to a really good start and then not so much and the second flight almost right off, the, off of the launch pad the engine quit so both of those flights were failures but we know to expect that kind of stuff in early career with early tech. So I mean, you know, that's just kind of par for the course. In so far as our um, X-Plane program, it's moving along nicely. We've, you know, we've reached a lot of good milestones, but we are really starting to peak our cockpit doesn't really allow us to go much beyond 75 kilometers. Um, our current record stands at 78. And the current tech in terms of aerodynamics, uh, the wings, we don't have the space plane tech yet, just the uh, supersonic wing. So where that limits us is in terms of heat that the wings can handle and we saw that caused us some issues in the previous episode and also in terms of engine tech we've got four of the xlr 11s upgraded versions right now and again we're starting really kind of struggle to go much beyond the 12 to 1300 meters per second so we are really starting to peak in every area the one big contract we still have to hit is that 3000 kilometer downrange So this is attempt number three at that contract and so far we're off to a really good start. We got the engines to light and the staging and ignition of the second engine, that XLR-11, uh, this time I did in the early 50s and rather than in the upper 50s, which seems to have given us the proper attitude. So another really important step there with the Aerobee engine lighting. 
this flight ended up being a phenomenal success. We were aiming, well, are aiming for 3,000 kilometer downrange, but we ended up hitting an apogee of just over a thousand kilometers. So with all engines burning to completion, you can really see this is one capable rocket. And with that, we ended up hitting somewhere around four to 4,500 downrange and a bunch of altitude records you can see there. So with that really very successful flight, uh, we ended up with a good chunk of funds. So it was time to start investing and improve our capabilities. Continuing with our X-Plane program, we were working on some more altitude contracts. And I made the mistake that I knew at some point I was going to make, which is I forgot to hit the record button. But I did capture these amazing screenshots of the actual mission itself. All in all, fairly straightforward flight. We climbed to 55 kilometers, had no issues, no engine problems, landed safely and completed the contract. Once again, taking advantage of the six minute burn time, we were able to turn the 3C around, refuel, reattach, and refly it right away in less than 15 days. The objective for this flight is the elusive 1500 meter per second speed target. The 3C was designed as an evolution of the 3B specifically for, for pure speed with stretch tanks increasing our burn time by a total of about 30-35 seconds which is a substantial amount. So the plan is to climb to 30 kilometers roughly and then level out and just burn the engines as long and as hard as they'll go. Having reached our target altitude and leveled off, we were starting to run pretty close on fuel and getting close to our speed target. But things started to get a little toasty and we started to get really close to those uh, heat limits just as the engines burned out. So I decided that it was time to get out of that situation before something bad happened. And we ended up hitting a pretty substantial amount of Gs there, almost hit the 15 G mark. But ultimately, even though we actually beat our previous speed record, we're still a fair bit away from that 1500 meter per second mark. Prepping for the third flight again, we recover the aircraft, reattach it, refuel it, and send it aloft again without having to do any further maintenance to it.
Our current objective with this flight is to hit a 65 kilometer altitude mark. Nothing that is outside of the realm of possibilities for the 3C. It is more than capable of reaching that altitude. So with the contract done, having peaked at about 67 kilometers of altitude, I did something that I've done many times before, which is just dive the aircraft with the speed brakes on and head back home. And then very unexpectedly, something rather unusual happened and took me completely by surprise. started to pull out of the dive, the aircraft just broke apart. Uh, what you're seeing there is a bunch of loose parts clipping to one another, but the aircraft just completely came undone very unexpectedly. And I really was confused as to why that had happened. So after having fallen like a leaf for what seemed like an eternity, for the third time in his short career, our pilot Marin had to punch out of the aircraft to save himself. So while we were on the ground, I figured we might as well take advantage of it and maybe get a bit of science from uh, landed on a different biome. After the fact, I went back and looked at the footage again to try and figure out what happened. And it seems like the most likely explanation is a combination of intense drag forces coupled with the forces from pulling out of the dive. 
The pulling out wasn't that intense per se, but combined with the heavy drag forces of doing 1200 meters per second close to the 15 kilometer mark, that really ended up doing it in for the 3C. But it goes to show again, we really are reaching the limitations of the current technology that we've got, which is a bit of a problem for us. The objective with this flight was the completion of a sounding rocket contract, but also uh, I packed in there a few science experiments like pressure and temperature because we need to start getting more science points. Right now what's starting to block us in further advancing our technology is we're too low on the amount of science points that we've got needed to unlock those additional nodes. So call it a ride share mission or whatever you feel like it, but this was basically a two birds with one stone kind of mission. And with that, we ended up getting another perfect flight out of the Silver Brandt BB. So another very, very successful flight and another milestone hit. That is going to be it for episode 6. Overall, in spite of the fact that we lost the 3C, we still have our pilot who made it out of life. We got two very successful flights out of the Silver Brand BB. So overall, I think, a very successful episode. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It does help. And I'll see you in the next episode.